What's up everybody, welcome back to more Kirby's Epic Yarn! In today's episode, we're going to be doing Coco Station, which unfortunately is a level played entirely in train transformation mode. No, the horror! But fear not, NinBuzz viewers, because I have planned for this. Yes, I have brought in a special guest who is going to be playing the level for me. And no, it's not Megan Fox. She is, however, a lady. Tell him your name. Uh, I am Elizabeth. Elizabeth, how old are you? I am just turned three years old. That is fantastic, and I hate to say it, but even at three years old, Elizabeth is a much better train driver of Kirby than I am. So, Elizabeth, you're going to be driving the choo-choo today, and I am going to be talking to the nice people. Think we can do that? You want me to commentate you? Uh, that's sweet of you, but no, I will handle the commentary, and I you... Still? What's that supposed to mean, Happy Meal? I just saying, people say you talk too much. I don't talk too much, and people write nice comments about me, okay? Like, right now, probably somebody's writing a nice comment that if says... I write a comment that Ian and Mr. Ray are better. That's it! You're out of here! Yeah, Ah, uh, women, right? Can't live with them, can't beat these train transformation levels without them. But that's okay. I'm gonna prove to her, I'm gonna prove to all y'all haters out there that I can drive trains just like a three-year-old. If not better. Okay, probably not better. But maybe just as good as a three-year-old. Alright, so I'm gonna go through here and get that... Nah, I already messed up. I wonder if it's too late to get Elizabeth back. Oh, nah. That girl, she's not gonna be playing with me for a while. She, I don't know, I think she broke her leg or her arm. Nah, I wouldn't really throw a three-year-old out the window. Come on, man, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Sometimes I just have weird thoughts in my head. It's like you have this demon on your shoulder on the one side, and then you have the angel on the other side. And sometimes the demon says to do crazy stuff, like, wouldn't it be funny if you threw a three-year-old girl out the window? And I'm like, no, that's horrible! And then it's like, not for real, just for a joke, for the first minute of your Ninbuzz video. And I'm like... No, that's still a horrible idea. I'm not going to do it. People will, like, stop watching and leave a million thumbs down. But then the voice is like, do it. You know you want to do it. And see, the problem is, the demon on my shoulder looks a lot like Elizabeth Hurley in that movie Bedazzle. And I'm like, I can't say no to you. You're wearing such a low-cut dress. So that's what gets me in trouble. But no, normally I'm like a really clean-cut guy following the straight and narrow. I don't do bad stuff. But every once in a while, this, like, crazy, sick, twisted idea will come into my head that I, like, don't act on ever. It's just, why am I thinking that? It's like an Eminem moment or something. It's like, you know what would be funny? Like, the other day I was in the grocery store with my sister, and she was getting, like, salad, and there's this, like, big beefy guy who's, like, I guess the produce manager or whatever, and so right next to where they sell salads is the bakery with all these pies, and I was like, you know what would be funny? If I just picked up this pie, removed the plastic cover, and chucked it right in this guy's face. And then upon rational thought, I was like, no, that's actually really mean. And not to mention, this guy is like an NFL linebacker, so he'd like fold me into a pretzel without even breaking a sweat. But for that half second when I was contemplating it, I'd be like, yeah, that's actually kind of funny to just smash this guy with a pie. I mean, pies are funny, right? That's like a classic comedy joke. But I don't know. I thought better of it, thankfully. So here's our first treasure, the Choco Ottoman. This Ottoman is great, but what's it filled with? Ooh, what is it filled with? It's filled with Kirby's special sauce. Let's see, can I get the second train car? What the heck was that? I like drove right over top of it. I like went right by it and then drove over top of it. I wish there was like a button you could press where Kirby just stopped and like jumped off the train. Jump the track, Kirby! Alright, so I'm just gonna wait until it dissolves. Let's go down here and get some more of these Chaos Emeralds slash Skittles slash Stray Beads. And no, that was not an Okami reference. I don't watch Chugga Convoy. No one does. Okay, 20 million people. But that's it, man. Other than those 20 million fans that he's got, he's not famous at all. I don't know why everybody makes such a big fuss. Alright, so we're gonna go down here and press all these switches, which are covered in orange slices? What is this, a Little League soccer game? Where your moms hand out orange slices? Go, Kirby, you're at the halfway point! Alright, what you wanna do before you pull up this next pulley is make sure you get this bonus star. Because once you pull up the pulley, that big chocolate bar blocks your way. And for whatever reason, Kirby can't just eat the chocolate bar. I don't know, maybe because he's a train, he doesn't have his same appetite. So now that we got the bonus star, oh, we're already to bronze medal, so I'm not going to fail completely. I'm at least going to get a bronze medal. Yay! All right, so we got to backtrack just a little bit so we can get this second treasure. And speaking of candy bars, that's exactly what this second treasure is. I love how I, like, flip upside down. It's the only way I know how to drive. Like, 
This is like the worst terrain driving ever, but it kind of gets the job done. Alright, so we get a chocolate bar. This floor map makes me wonder why there aren't more giant chocolate bars. Exactly! I would love to live in a world full of giant chocolate bars. Can you imagine just like walking into a room and like the floor mat's this giant Hershey bar? I'd be like, yay! I would love that room. I bet Donald Trump's house has that room. No, not Donald Trump. He's rich enough for it. But you know whose house probably does have a giant chocolate bar floor mat that you can actually eat? Oprah. Yeah, I better not talk smack about Oprah because she's like a billionaire. And she's probably watching. Oprah has spies everywhere. Alright, so let's... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that was a nice save. I like, actually flipped over and then in midair I was like, Spider-Man web! And I made a train track so I could get to it. Nice job, Kirby. Alright, let's see. If, can I smash this last block? Yay! Okay. Now we're gonna go up here. This actually creates something kind of cool. It's a Ferris wheel! Yay! So I'm just gonna make a circle of train tracks. I'm just gonna draw like a crazy circle. And what happens if the beads start getting too far away from you? What you can do, just flip back around and then the beads come to you! Yay! Isn't being lazy great? I'll say this though. A creative lazy person is gonna accomplish a whole lot more than somebody who like works hard but doesn't have like a original thought in their mind. Cause you gotta think about it. Somebody who's really hard working is just like, oh there's a car, I'll go put it together my darn self. But someone who's a little bit lazy but who is a little bit creative is gonna say, you know what, instead of going ahead and building this whole car myself, I'm gonna make a conveyor belt system so that the parts are like all lined up for me so I don't have to go in each little individual bin and get them. And then, someone who was even lazier took that a step farther and said, you know what, I'll just make a robot build the whole thing. Oh, and I messed up. This is what I get for talking about how great it is to be lazy. I screw up. That's one of the failings about lazy people, though. Sometimes their ideas don't always work out, and they have to start all over. But then they come up with something even better. Yay. All right, so let's go ahead and come on, Kirby. You can fail once, but not 20 times. All right, so let's go back on up the hill. I was going to get that speed boost, but I don't think I really need it. So screw it, we'll just do it the slow way. We're taking the scenic route. We're driving like your grandpa. We're like, is my blinker on? Oh, it's been on since North Dakota. Well, that's okay. Come on, I lost another train car. Why do you guys, like, insist on leaving the pack? Stay together, stick with the group. We all have ID badges. We all have a buddy, right? All right, so I don't want to mess up now because we have to race this train at the bottom so we can get the bonus star. Hit the nitro, Kirby! All right, we're racing for pink slips. No, we're not doing that, but we are racing for a bonus star. Come on, Kirby, get the Skittles, too! All right, so we're going to fall down. Yeah, I'm not even bothering driving, drawing any more train tracks. All right, yeah, we got the bonus star. We got a gold medal. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. All right, so I'm going to try. Oh, wow, that actually worked. I didn't think that would actually work doing that flip while you got the nitro boost, but it did. Alright, so we got our, I think that's the last passenger car. Well, I just flipped over and lost all my passengers. No, come back here, fellas. Now that we got the gold medal, I don't have to worry about getting those extra beads there. And Kirby, why won't you go on my train tracks? I draw lovely train tracks and you refuse to go on them. What are you too good for my train tracks? You only go on kosher train tracks or something? I don't know, that didn't make any sense. I was just looking, I don't think we even have any passengers on our car. I think these things are filled with desserts, it looks like. And that third one from the back, it looks like a Pokeball to me. I don't know, what do you guys think it is? I can't really tell what these desserts are. It looks like two ice cream sundaes, maybe? The one right behind us, I guess, I don't know what that is. I was going to say it's a caker or something, but I don't even know. Alright, so let's see. Oh no, I think I messed up. Kirby, are you going to be able to do the super awesome flip move? Maybe I can drive straight up. Can we do that, Kirby? Wow, you will drive straight up, but you won't do a little turn for me sometimes. You crazy choo-choo. Alright, go Thomas the Tank Engine, go! Oh, that was a nice little flip. Kirby's stylish. Yeah, it's not bad driving. I'm just trying to be extra stylish when I drive. Come on, plow through everything. Wow, am I actually going to get through all of these obstacles in one shot? That would be amazing! Alright, so here's our third and final treasure, and it is the Hotland music. This is the new music that plays in Hotland. It's by Nelly. It's hot in here! And that was like a reference like 10 years old or something? I don't know. Alright, so we're done. No more train driving levels. And now that we're done with the level... Oh, and we even got five stars. Now that we're done with the level, I'll go um out my house three floors and go check on that little girl who didn't really fall down. It was just a joke, people! Don't write the cops to me or... 
Wait, too late! The cops are already here! They're coming! Oh no! Nah, there's no cops outside. And if they are, I'm just gonna pretend like I don't hear them. Oh, what's that knocking? No, I don't know. Alright, so we got another gold medal, and we got all three treasures, and two of the treasures I would eat. The third one I would not eat, because I would not eat the chocolate candy bar. I would, however, eat the Hotland CD, because it's delicious. You just put a little bit of cheese whiz on it, and it's good to go, man. Alright, Kirby, so we're just about done with this level, but there's one more to go in Treatland. We are going to make our already giant cake even bigger. What are those things? Oh no, a bat? I don't want to eat a bat. Wait, is it a chocolate bat? Okay, I'll eat it. What is our next level called? It's called Dark Manor. So that's where we're going to be headed to, and Kirby's so happy. I like Kirby's happy dance. All right, so next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, we're going to be going to Dark Manor. Dun, dun, dun. Unless I get arrested, I don't know if throwing an imaginary girl out the window is a crime or not. So if you get a collect call from jail, please accept it, please.